It's the race that we have all been waiting for. It's the 2023 NCAA Cross Country Championships. This race brings out some of the fastest distance athletes in the entire world. And standing between every runner and athletic immortality are the rolling grassy hills of Charlottesville, Virginia, a course designed to test the determination and grit of every runner. Now, the buildup to this race over the previous few months has been full of quick performances and newfound rivalries. And one of the best rivalries finally coming to fruition at the highest stage is the showdown between Caitlin Tui from NC State and Parker Valby from the University of Florida. These two have been the absolute best runners in the NCAA for the previous couple of seasons. And notably, Tui only has one cross country loss over the previous two seasons. And that loss came at the hands of none other than Parker Valby in this year's Nuttycomb invite. Now in last year's championships, these two dueled all the way down to the finish, with Tui ultimately winning by 3.5 seconds. However, Valby has looked very, very fit this season, with many believing that she has the advantage over Caitlin Tui. With the sold out championship and endless drama just around the corner, let's jump into the first race of the day, the Women's 6K Championships. As many people had previously expected, this race got out extremely fast, and by the first kilometer, Parker Valby had already taken the lead and was already pushing very hard up front to gap the field. Now, this first kilometer was an absolute free-for-all. It was a waterfall of domination, and this first kilometer was split with a time of 2 minutes 54.1 seconds, which was right around 4 minutes and 40 seconds per mile. So right away, the tactic of Parker Valby was quite obvious, and it was the same as last season's race. Get out with extreme speed and try to break the field early. This tactic has worked very well for her throughout 2023, and at this point in the race, we had a very similar race unfolding as to what we saw in last year's championships, but if you'll remember for that race, Tui did eventually catch Parker Valby over the final kilometer. By the two kilometer mark, Valby was still up front, running around 10 seconds ahead of the chase pack, and with a split time of 6.04, she only increased her lead to around 10 seconds, and in the chase pack, it was once again led by Caitlin Tui from NC State. Parker was still flying up front, I mean she was moving, especially given the fact that this second kilometer included a lot of uphill running, and at this point in the race, Valby was still looking smooth and determined to take this title. Now through the halfway point, which was three kilometers, Valby was still pushing very hard, I mean she was unrelenting in her pace, and as the race continued, the gap only continued to get bigger and bigger, and through this 3k split she hit a time of 9 minutes and 15 seconds, which now showcased a lead of 18 seconds. This was actually bigger than any lead that she had during last year's championships, where by the 4 kilometer split she was around 12 seconds ahead of Caitlin Tui. And through this halfway point, NC State was slightly in the lead, which was pretty amazing considering that Kelsey Camille, one of the stronger runners for NC State, was actually out of this race due to injury. But at the halfway split, NC State was holding strong slightly over Northern Arizona, one of the big pre-race favorites as well. Through 4 kilometers, Valby hit a time of 12 minutes and 22 seconds, and just when you thought her lead couldn't get any more massive, we see that her lead was now 20 full seconds. It was really at this point in the race last season where Caitlin Tui started to make her move to catch Parker Valby up front, and this season, it sadly appeared to be a different story, as Tui was only in 11th place at the 4K split, and she was now 28 seconds behind Valby. With just two kilometers remaining, it was starting to turn into a victory run for Valby up front, whose lead was still growing and by 5k, she hit a time of 1544.7, which equates to a pace of 504 per mile or 309 per kilometer. This was proving to be an absolute dominant march for Parker Valby up front, but running strong in the chase pack now was Alabama's Doris Limnigol, and also running close was Notre Dame's Marquezich, both looking to catch Valby over the final kilometer. Now, over the final kilometer, Valby was finally starting to showcase some struggle. I mean, she did look as though she had spent all of her energy over the previous 5.5k, but with extremely strong poise and a very bold racing strategy, might I add, she was able to hold on to first place with a time of 18 minutes and 55 seconds. This was a true masterclass of running from Parker Valby, who managed to take down the course record by 13 seconds here, and the previous course record actually belonged to none other than Caitlin Tui from the 2022 ACC Championships, where she ran a time of 1908. 
Now, the top results include Adora Slimnagol, Marquezic from Notre Dame, Olima Moy from Alabama, and Caitlin Tui finished in fifth place in 1923. And even though you needed to be right at 1930 just to finish in the top 10, the real question many were wondering now was who won the team title, because it was looking very close up front. And ultimately, NC State overtook Northern Arizona by just one point, winning with 123 points over Northern Arizona, who scored 124. From Valby's dominant win to Alabama's top two running very well, to Tui still running a great race and the team title coming down to just one point, this women's race was just awesome, and it's showcasing brand new talent representing amazing depth in the NCAA rankings. And even though the women's race was very exciting, so too was the men's race, which didn't really have a clear favorite heading into this championship. Now, on the men's side, there were many favorites to take the victory here in the individual race. There was Drew Bosley from NAU, Nico Young from NAU, Kai Robinson from Stanford, and also many were talking about Graham Blanks from Harvard, who was looking to make history as potentially the first Ivy League athlete to ever win the individual NCAA cross-country title. Through the opening two kilometers, the field was very much bunched together, with NAU holding a strong presence, as well as Arkansas and Oklahoma State as well. And with a split time of 528 through the 2K split, Nico Young passed through first. However, it is important to note that 16 additional runners were all within one second of Young, meaning that it was really anyone's race at this point. This pace put these athletes at a lightning quick pace of 4.23 per mile, or 2.44 per kilometer. And if they held this pace all the way through the tape, they were looking at a finishing time of 27.20. But that was probably not going to happen, given this super quick downhill start, and the fact that these athletes get very excited over the opening few kilometers. Now, through the next few minutes of running, it was still a lot of the same. NAU was running well, and Oklahoma State had a strong presence too. And with athletes running close to 4 minutes and 30 seconds per mile through the 5K split, they had a very impressive time of 14.17 through the halfway point, which did showcase a slight decrease in pace. Over the next few miles, the field was finally starting to thin down to the big front running contenders. And by the 8 kilometer split, with just 2 kilometers left to run, it was now down to just four athletes, including Kai Robinson, Graham Blanks, Optum Samuel, and Dennis Kepin Gedich from Oklahoma State. And with a split time of 22.53, they were still moving, and it was a surprise to many because this was a very quick time on a course that was supposed to provide many challenges, and yet they were still running lightning fast. With about one kilometer left to run in the race, it was now down to Graham Blanks and Haptum Samuel. And with a bold and strong push with about half a mile left, Graham Blanks made his bid for the victory, and amazingly, he won the 2023 Cross Country Nationals with a time of 28 minutes and 37 seconds, the first time ever that an Ivy League athlete has won this individual title. Now, rounding out the top 10 were many familiar faces, but as you can clearly see, rounding out the top 15 were many Oklahoma State athletes, and with an amazing team score, they absolutely walked this championship, winning with 49 points over Northern Arizona in second with a team score of 71. A very clutch performance from Oklahoma State. Thanks for watching, everyone, and as always, until next time.